<laughs> you got crazy bedhead. Hi. Patiently for their lunch. <laughs> what are you gonna have today? A little fried rice. <laughs> oh my god! Hi guys, welcome back to the weekend vlog. So if you missed last week's, last weekend was our first weekend doing a weekend vlog. So this is number two, obviously. Today we are gonna go check on our new house. If you are new to my channel, we are building a home. So that's pretty exciting, we've never done that before. And Jeff is going into work at some point. We put together an Ikea dresser last night with minimal frustration, so that was a win all around. Minimal frustration with each other. With each other. I didn't think it was that bad with the video. It was almost four hours. Yeah, but we didn't like argue. Anyways, so we bought a IKEA dresser for the baby's nursery, and thankfully somebody put up a three-part series of how to assemble the dresser. So we followed it step by step, and even though it took us quite a bit of time, it was super easy following the video versus the instructions we would have been totally screwed if we just followed the instructions um in addition to going to the house i'm also going to make it a priority today to keep working on the nursery after she goes down for her second nap her and i will probably go to target or home goods what did you say i needed from home goods i needed like bathroom stuff like a rug or something oh <laughs> looking at me like i had three eyes i remember so we are getting the pictures done for our house to put it up on the market on Wednesday. So we're just trying to do some last minute things before that. Getting the house clean tomorrow and getting our landscaping done on Tuesday. Pictures are done on Wednesday. And then my mom and stepdad come into town on Friday. And your brother. And my brother. We haven't seen my brother since Christmas. So I'm pretty bummed. We just got back from seeing the house. There's been a lot of progress made, which is really exciting, but they did have people working there, so I didn't wanna be like that person in filming um, while they were trying to get work done and whatnot. So Peyton has about a half hour before she has to go down for her second nap, and I figured, let's see her back there, I would start kind of organizing some things in the nursery well this isn't the nursery but like where his dresser is currently at i started doing a little bit last night because i couldn't help myself while we were um done putting it together so i'll show you what's been done so far so this is the ikea dresser it's the eight drawer hemness dresser in the dark gray stain so this first drawer here has all of his diapers and then this drawer I'm gonna put his wipes and then some sort of container to hold all of the like diaper changing necessities and then I will show you when I go back out to the kitchen I kind of mapped it out as far as like how I think it'll make the most sense but I do want to start placing things in the drawers where I think it makes the most sense for them to go what's wrong that way I can start like picking up organization systems and bins that make the most sense for that drawer. So I'm gonna start doing that. I did put the two baskets over here. They were in the closet. And I do have all of our sprinkle gifts sitting over there. So when she goes down for a nap and I start putting things away, I'll share with you what family had gotten for him. This is starting to come together a little bit more. We put the Target organizer in here and I did start to organize it. So 
I'm gonna close that before she gets into it. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting having her playroom in the same room as baby's dresser because she's probably gonna wanna get into everything. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Okay, and I will kinda, like once I've figured out what I'm doing, I will show you guys what I've put in each drawer. Okay, so Peyton is working and going down for her second nap. So I figured while she is doing that and I have some quiet time, um, I will show you some of the gifts that we got from our baby sprinkle. So if you missed my pregnancy update, I'll link it. But I mentioned that my mother-in-law threw me a sprinkle two weeks ago when we were home in Michigan. So I'll show you some of those things. Um, we got a pack of bibs. I love these little bandana bibs. And my husband is a huge, Jeff is a huge football freak. So these were really fitting. Sunday fun day. I love that. We used the copper pearl bibs with Peyton and my mother-in-law got us a set of four from copper pearl. And if I can find any of these things, I'll link them down below. But our old neighbors got us this little Nike set has a little hat and little football like sock booties are so cute little michigan football my bff got him this little teether it's there you can kind of see it. it's the shape of michigan and then it has this really cute like marble ring on it and it's um textured on the one side we got a couple different blankets so there's this one, has a bunch of different cars on it. It's kind of hard to tell. It's so buttery soft. This is from the brand Lila and Jack. Um, but I believe this is from TJ Maxx. Yeah, and this is from TJ Maxx. The mother-in-law got him this little knit blanket. We got a towel for baby, which is good. I'm glad that somebody gift us, gifted us a towel because we definitely needed a second one. This one is a little alligator hooded towel. I thought this was so cute. This is from TJ Maxx as well. And then my aunt, Jeff's aunt, makes um, like really special blankets for all the babies. Peyton has one too. She basically has the same thing, just different print. Um, so she made him this little taggy and it has little animals on the one side and then the quilt we use this quite a bit for tummy time and it just has different um, patterns it's like orange yellow gray blue and then that same little animal print and on the one side is that minky gray material so this will be perfect for tummy time and any other blanket purposes. And then my BFF also got him this little red truck book, which is really cute. And we have a bunch of clothes in here, but I'm going to save the clothes for the baby boy clothing haul. So stay tuned for that. But those are just a couple little pieces that I wanted to share with you. So today's video has kind of been shot to hell. We went to, I don't even know where I left off. We went to the house, oh I did mention this, and there was people there, so I didn't record. But I just got back from the gym, and I figured that I would show you a little grocery haul, cause why not? Picked up some Tyson Southern breast tenderloins, interesting. Normally we shop at Costco, so. I just picked this up since we ran out. Bananas, Peyton likes to eat bananas in the morning. Jeff's been craving a red onion, so I picked that up for him. And these ingredients, so I am Finnish. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that on this channel. Um, and my great grandma and my grandma, my entire life have been making pasties. If you don't know what a pasty is, it's kind of like a shepherd's pie, I guess. And since the weather has been cooling down, it feels like pasty weather. And it sounds really, really good. So I got the ingredients for that. So it's basically just ground turkey. You can use whatever type of ground meat that you like. Um, a rusted potato, a yellow onion. You can use whatever onion you like, but I like um, yellow onions. Pie crust and carrots. I just got baby carrots because they were on sale, I think. And then whatever seasonings you like. Normally I just do salt and pepper. And then my family 
grew up eating it with tons of ketchup on it. I also flavor it with ketchup. And then I also did go to Target. So we needed another mirror for the car for baby boy. So I got one of those. That was actually pretty inexpensive. It was like $15 or something. And I also picked up a diaper cream rash, diaper rash cream by Honest. I haven't used this one before, but they were running a promotion where Honest products were 20% off. So we have that ready for baby too. I know I mentioned earlier when I was in like the baby's room, the playroom, that I would show you how I'm somewhat organizing the dresser. This is what I did. I labeled each drawer and then I kind of wrote out an idea of what I wanted to put in each drawer. I will tell you that this has somewhat changed since kind of going through it today, but I will be posting a like how I organize for baby video, which will be next month at some point in November. But I did make a chicken Caesar salad for dinner, so I'm going to eat this, edit tomorrow's video, and babe, come here. I have a surprise. So while I was at the grocery store, Jeff said to pick up a treat. And I know I mentioned in my pregnancy update video that I've been trying to get somewhat back on the healthy kick, but this guy won't let me. He's a horrible food pusher. So I have a surprise in the fridge, or in the freezer. And you're gonna record me opening the freezer? You're gonna go get it. Okay. This better be good. <laughs> He didn't say what to get. So the other night, I don't know what night it was. Wednesday. Wednesday. I told him that I was craving chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream from Halo Top. If you haven't had Halo Top before, it's really yummy. Yeah, it's not quite ice cream, but it's, it'll get the sweet tooth checkbox. Yeah, and I told him, cause he went and they have tons of different flavors. So we were kind of going through them while he was at the store and I said, okay, I'm, you know, chocolate chip cookie dough sounds good. So he came home, he ran upstairs to get in the shower and I was down here like getting dinner ready for myself or something. So I went to go put all the groceries away that he got. And it was like blueberry crumble, peach cobbler, fourth one. Oh, peanut butter and jelly. That one was good. The peanut butter and jelly one was actually really good. It tastes more like peanut butter with like, jelly swirls you get the point of the whole thing is you can eat a whole pint of ice cream for 320 calories yeah but the whole reason why i got chocolate chip cookie dough is because he came home with vanilla the the labels look the same <laughs> they're next to each other in the freezer it's not my fault they do look the same but i remember when he was in the shower was like did he want vanilla ice cream instead of chocolate chip cookie dough so anyways satisfying that craving tonight but I think I'm gonna end today's vlog. It was kind of all over the place, like I mentioned earlier, but hopefully you guys liked it. If you saw my other weekend vlog, leave a leave your favorite emoji below. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Pasty's not good. Oh my god. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>